Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Urban Libertarian here, back from a long time away. Uh, so I was right. I was right. And not just I was right, but we were right. A lot of us were right. This is what I've been saying. It's just amazing. So Trump finally is ordering declassifying all the Lisa Page, uh, store struck, whatever, all those texts, Comey's uh, texts, all kinds of stuff related to the BS uh, Russia probe. <laughs> um, but this is the end. I mean, this is it. And, and it's been like this. And this is the story. This, this story's been around for a long time. And this, the media has totally shown itself. And everything is flipped now. You know, all what we used to call the mainstream media is just now it's just a weird what we would think of the Internet like back in the early 90s full of propaganda and weird conspiracy conspiracy theories. Well, like now the Internet and you people on YouTube like me and and, you know, some proper um, alternative media sources, because a lot of alternative media now has just become it's I don't even know. It's it's just the same as the mainstream. It's just a propaganda tool. Um, you know, and a few and a few uh, mainstream outlets, um, mostly Fox News, have been talking about the truth for the longest time. And it's it's game over, man. Game over, game over. I don't know what they're gonna do now. So um, I just saw this. Look, so everybody's having to talk. Wapo's having to talk about CNN's talking about it. Uh, Politico's talking about it. Uh, and they're they're gonna have to start spinning. Of course, the Hill started talking about it. Um, and where was it it's just this is just coming out so i'm gonna have to check out uh the nightly news here on the west coast and see if they talk about it but um this is funny i i saw this and i just want to comment how wolf blitzer breaking news on the russia bs probe right let me go through this let's watch this check this out the white house just announced that president trump is asking the director of national intelligence and the department of justice including the fbi to release unredacted classified documents and text messages relating to the start of the Russia investigation. Our justice correspondent Evan Perez is here. Uh, Evan, pretty sensitive material that uh, the president is now declassifying. Pretty sensitive material that the president's now declassifying. Uh, like, hello. Um, so what did Hillary do with her server? She just let it out in the open and it got stolen. It got hacked by China, right? So now apparently they're really concerned about materials. Oh, oh, you, they can't even report anything with the, without a fucking slant. It's so ridiculous. So here we go. He can declassify whatever he wants, but it's interesting. He says on the FISA a court application to go after Carter Page, he only wants pages 10 through 12 to be released, pages 17 through 34 to be released. This is the June 2017 application to the FISA court uh, and I'm sure critics will start saying, what about pages one through nine or pages 13 through? Right. Oh, I'm sure some critics, you mean like, like you, B Wolf? Some critics, I, that's the whole thing. Some people would say, right, uh, what about all the other ones? Ha, ha. So they have, they're grasping, they're grasping. They're just, they know they're done. And you guys have been complicit in all this. Oh my goodness. So. Right, they're going to try to spin it like, oh, he's, watch, listen, it's so ridiculous. Selectively only releasing information that seems to be useful to him? Well, I think uh, the president and some of his allies in Congress have a purpose here, Look, I think the, 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 their argument is that this entire investigation, the Mueller investigation, the Russian investigation, is the fruit of a poisonous tree. This is some. Okay. So it's just Trump and his allies in Washington, and that's it, which means what Republicans, so just a couple hundred people in Trump are concerned and, and think this is complete BS. No, like, hello, you don't, look, get Trump politics out of it. Like, if you, if you really have been with us and a lot of people, um, you know, me and a lot of other people, especially, I don't post that much on here, but if you've been following, a lot of people uh, got interested in it with Q, but it's been a lot, it's been around since way longer than Q. We've known about this corruption because it's not that hard to see. It's not that difficult to see that this whole Russia thing was complete crap, right? Because anyway, you should know this. Hillary paid for all, for the dossier. There's, there's just so much proof here that it's BS. Meanwhile, the Trump investigation with Russia, that's all, it's like a soap opera and the media and everybody's complicit and, and the social media included 
right? That's That was just a big distraction for a lot of people. This is going to be as like a big, this is going to come out of like the middle of nowhere. Even though this has been around for a long time, Congress has been fighting for all of these documents. And thank you to Judicial Watch. They've been fighting for all of these documents. But here we go. Watch this. They believe began under nefarious circumstances that the FBI committed wrongdoing in beginning this investigation. And they believe that these pages, uh, I think a lot of this relates to what's known as the Woods file uh, in the uh, FISA, investi- uh, FISA application. So when, when the uh, FBI prepares this application for the court, they prepare a, a file of, of material to support why they believe this should be, should be, uh, should be approved by the, by the FISA court judges. And so a lot of this has to do with the underlying explanation from the FBI as to why they believe that Carter Page was acting as an agent of a foreign power. In this Jesus case. Christ. Okay, what's going on in their, in, the, in their studio? Man, there's CNN. You think they have better studio quality? My God, firecrackers going on in the background. Look, bottom line, the reason that Trump and his allies are just people with a brain, even if you don't like Trump, you've got to see it for what it is. Okay, so people don't know this. So Carter Page was, he worked with the FBI as an informant to um, to nab Russian um, oligarchs, mafia guys. Look it up, okay? So the FBI already knew who Carter Page was. He worked with them before as an informant for the USA against Russia, right? And they didn't put that in the dossier in, in their, in their uh, application for the FISA warrant, which is not meant... I mean, there was a good article the other day. I forgot who wrote. It. I think it was uh, on the in- Intercept. Anyway, you can't just use these. The way these FISA things work, it's not just you can't use it as well. Oh, we think something's going on. You have to present evidence. And then four times they presented. They just presented the same thing, which was nothing. Just that crappy lying dossier, which was actually provided by the Russians through Fusion GPS, through the Clinton campaign, and did the DNC. Oh my goodness. So they didn't say that the Carter Page was on, was worked with them. They didn't say that Hillary and the DNC uh, 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 had paid for it. They didn't say that the FBI thought that the information was not credible through Christopher Steele. They already said that he couldn't work through them. He was working through a back door with Bruce Orr at the DOJ. Holy crap. It's out of the bag. It's out of the bag. This whole Trump world, Manafort's and... There's no, there's no evidence of collusion there, but there's tons of evidence of collusion on the other, I dare I say, the other side with, with using the government as their, as their like private enforcement agency. It's so obvious. The thing is that people just have this bias; they just can't see it. And it's like, dude, you've got to like not be my team, your team, and just see shit for what it is. So this guy is a fucking idiot. So let's keep going. So that's what the president is going after here. That's what his allies have been selected to- see allies right like we're the fucking jedi versus the dark side allies it's not you don't even have to be an ally with trump to not like corruption i thought i thought people don't like trump because they think he's corrupt so then see it's just it it's a brain fuck for people they, they can't get it and the media is just really man i'm really curious how they're going to handle this they're they're really bad. They're just going to shit themselves. Leaking some of this stuff. Uh, you know, keep in mind, members of Congress have already seen a lot of this. They already have some of this. So they've been selectively leaking some of this to conservative media, trying to get the well, president, yeah. you know, ginned up to, to make sure he did exactly this. And now they've gotten what they want. Hold, hold on. So you make it act like like pre- like Trump didn't know what was going on. He see he makes it act like Trump doesn't know what go- what's going on until unless Congress leaks it to the media. Hello, I'm pretty sure he has like a super duper access. He's the president. I don't think he needs to learn from the media. You know, that's pretty ridiculous. But here here's the um. I think this is the press release from Sarah Sanders, right? President Donald Trump is ordering the declassification of various documents, text messages, blah blah blah. We declassified include items related to Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act on Carter Page, who was a former FBI informant who who, who worked against Russia with the Americans. <laughs> the Russia investigation. <laughs> Sanders added Trump has instructed just to publicly release all text messages. All good. Without redaction. Good. Of James Comey and Andrew McCabe, Peter Strzok, Lisa Page, and Bruce Orr. Now, this is the thing. The media in, is saying that, oh, it's... um. It's like it's a it's tyrannical, but I thought Democrats were for transparency, right? Remember Obama being the most transparent uh, president ever, dude. That guy was like going after journalists and used the FBI, the, the the 
the IRS against conservative groups. Give me a break, right? Trump's been way more transparency. And you get transparency and then people don't want it because, oh, it shows bad stuff on, quote unquote, your side. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Like, look, you just got to reverse it. If, 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 uh, if it was just reversed and Hillary was Trump and Trump was Hillary, I would have to undoubtedly... It was, I, I wouldn't want to support Hillary, but I'd have to say, hey, well, yeah, like I guess Trump did spy on Hillary. That's kind of messed up, dude. This is not looking good. And this whole Russia collusion thing with Hillary's, I have to say it's bullshit, even though I'm sure she's probably corrupt with other things. This doesn't, nah, this isn't right. And, and Trump did wrong. That's not cool. Same thing. If you're on the other side, you have to like come to that conclusion, get your like bias out of the way and go, okay, yeah, this is kind of ridiculous. But, you know, the problem is, is people get so... I essentially is brainwashed through their social media and everything and becomes a, a, a feedback loop. But let's look at the um, comments, which I like to look at. Uh, Trey Gowdy, nah, he's actually seen non-redacted. I believe he does think the Pfizer process was applied incorrectly. Duh. But doesn't think that anyway, did you legitimize the FBI's cancel counsel? But there's nothing there. Even uh, Lisa Page just basically blew it out and said that they had nothing. Let's see. Uh, trouble, blah, blah, blah. Hussein's in trouble. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Look, squirrel. Exactly. Uh, Declassified information. Great American people have been lied to from the Democrats. Yep, there would be a little sneaky liars. It's time to pay the price. Exactly. They've been lying to everything. This Kavanaugh thing. Oh, some somewhere in high school. I mean, they just throw all these stupid, dirty tricks. And I'm just telling you, anybody of some intelligence can see right through it. And they're going to lose. There's going to be no the blue wave. Really. Give me a break. That is not going to happen. Um, let's see. Oak Scorey released it a month. Let's go. Manafort has flipped on what? Manafort hasn't flipped. And then now so people are saying, oh, Trump's desperate and everything. It's like, no, dude. It is fruit of the poisonous tree. It started with complete crap. Nothing's been found so far. It's corruption. When this gets published, it will be interesting to see what led them to spy on Carter Page. Right? Carter, so Carter Page was already known by the FBI to be one of their informants. Renew the surveillance, yet allow him to remain a totally free man. Exactly. He's free. He's never been charged. If indeed Mr. Page was a foreign agent, surely he would should have been some kind of criminal justice action. Exactly. If they keep spying on him and finding nothing, then there's clear abuse of the FISA powers. Hello. That's what it's... Dude. People complain about this after 9-11. The, these are powers that should be focused on foreign spies, right? Not terrorists. See, I don't even know about this, but I've looked into how this whole thing works and the thing is, look, if you're going to be low information and stuff, like don't vote. Don't be a low information voter. Just be low information and don't fucking vote, which most of you don't do. You know, that's why uh, Trump's going to win again. You know, but like you've got to inform yourself. And if you really want to like care, you should care like a lot and like really look into what's going on. Because when you do, you just find it everything's bullshit. So these powers focus on like, it's supposed to be us. Uh, uh, foreign spies, not Americans. I mean, the fear that arose because the NSA was nearly recording metadata about American phone calls to spy on an American without a criminal warrant is not something that should be taken lightly. Exactly. Even if you're a Democrat and you're like a total Hillary lover, Bernie bro, that's you. You're not supposed to do that. I thought you guys during when Bush was president, you guys and I was too. I was against spying. I don't want the government fucking spying on me. I thought you guys were all about that. Now you're like, oh uh-huh, yeah. No, it doesn't work like that. Don't be a dumbass. <laughs> that brings to mind the practice of organizations like Stasi, right? If you don't know what that is, that was the, uh, I believe it's like the Russian spy uh, people. Oh, no, it's Germans, Germans. Uh, we should hope that no one on the FBI or job, I don't know, correct me, one of the two. Uh, but blah, 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 abuse, and remember the church hearings. Yep, remember the church hearings, look that up. That's interesting. The, come, the juice come out, Dems are running scared. Exactly. And then just people are just like, uh-huh, Putin, Putin. It's like, dude, okay, well, tell me this. If you're like, Trump's all about like Putin, then uh, Hillary paid for a dossier using a foreign spy, which is against campaign finance. If you're talking about giving, paying money to a porn star campaign finance violation, what about paying a foreign spy to get uh, dirt on your opponent from fucking Russians? What the fuck? And then you have your server out and open and you get it hacked. Well, come on. If Trump had been doing that, you guys would be shitting all over him. Give me a break. You know it. If he had a, his own server in the bathtub at Mar-a-Lago and he had his own foundation ripping people off in millions of dollars, 
you would be bitching, okay? It's not about that. So once you get over it, let's come together, folks, and let's uh, let's fight this corruption. So I'll, anyway, I'll just see any more here. Uh, this will fully hasten Trump's demise as well as his tremendous corrupt master stooges Republican crime syndicate. Yeah, but what are you talking about? I can't see the real DJ minus blah, 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 funky sprinkle. Blah, blah. What's this blah, blah, blah? You're just words, dude. There's nothing. Newsflash. Who lost the election? And her memory is recording into the distance of history. No one gives dudes what she did anymore. Old news. Well, I mean, yeah, but still, she's got to be punished. Transparency wins. Maybe the most ignorant quote ever muted by a politician. I guess it's transparency that caused Republicans to release thousand pages of Kavanaugh's legal history at the last moment, most of which is sent blah, 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 garbage. Dude, you're arguing about transparency. See, the staff, former, blah, blah, blah. So see, that's even wrong. All right, so I'm done. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments.